All right, folks, welcome back to the American Dota League. It is the last game of the evening here for week three, day one of week three for that matter, Union Gaming versus Osiris Gaming. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Mott. With me tonight is the magnificent Cattle Guy. How are you doing, sir? Mott, I'm doing great. Happy to be back. Ready to take this one home. We'll see, man. Union Gaming, they've been uh, struggling early in this ADL. They were at one and five, but now they managed to pick up another win for themselves against the Osiris Gaming, but Mott, we know from time to time, Osiris, what they do best, even up a series. Yeah, the, this is a team that has gotten one and one in every single series throughout the ADL, throughout these first three weeks. And they've done it in style. A lot of that has come on the backs of the play of Guanzo and, and sometimes Willie's as well. And Ziz played a fantastic game. That first game we just saw not too long ago was absolutely outstanding. But they need something a bit better. And this time they're going to bring in the big guns. Super standing Ryu Bors is here to play Dota. And... Well, I thought he had officially retired, but nope, he's here to play, and he's here looking to try to pick up this victory against Union Gaming. I actually didn't notice he was in the game till just now when you brought it up, and I looked over, I'm like, this son of a bitch, this guy trying to be a demon junior or something, just spawning from team to team, can't even hold one of his own, but regardless, it just goes without saying that I'm going to be very hard on Ryu. Yeah, I, I also will be over overly critical of the man. I mean, he, he has to know that for for the amount that he flames me, which is Radiant admittedly team. not that much. It's not beat his level, but it's still up there. Beautiful. It's Dyer it's going to be, I'm going to bring it back to him a bit. So uh, for right now, we'll see how it goes for them. And I don't know what it is with North American Dota players and standing in for some of the top teams in the world. But MSS, Demon, like you mentioned, KZZ, even to a certain extent. Brood star back in the day. They just like really love to be mercenaries, but they can't quite commit just yet to like a team or a right, contract like or what have you. Or something. You know, it is what it is, but their characters, I appreciate them. They always put on great solid performances. So I'm really excited to see how they make it work. I mean, both these teams have been swapping in and out a lot of players frequently, especially more so in Osiris. So we'll see if they make it work. I'm also curious to see if Ziz is going to hand over the mid lane to Ryu now, who's a prominent mid lane player and a prominent invoker player. So we'll see if that's going to be the case or not. And for Union Gaming, they go ahead and grab up the Centaur War Runner. So interestingly enough, and as far as bands went, no surprises. Like in Naga, Ember, all out of this one. And there we go. Visage is a secondary support. Pick. I like it. I like Visage getting picked up here. You don't see him as often as you might, you know, used to see him in competitive play. Still very strong with Soul Assumption being a good scale early on. And really works well in an aggressive tri lane. Nyx Assassin coming Radiant out for Osiris. And they can land this in multiple ways. Most likely off lane. Ryu, uh, talking to him a lot, there's one place he's not going to go. And it's going to be that off lane. He, he almost detests that role, I feel like. And... He can play support, and he's okay at it, but I think Dying he would probably prefer to play back. mid or safe lane. And I think because Ziz had such a great time in mid last time around, they'll probably put him safe lane, which leaves maybe the lifestealer player from last game on that off lane hero this this game. We'll see, though. Osiris's gaming... Osiris's gamings? Osiris yeah, gaming's remaining. history with Nyx Assassin is also a bit shaky. Uh, four Five games, they're one and three with them right now, but this team changes every game, so I guess they can't really hold too much into that data, so we'll see if they can kind of bring it back for him. I'm always a big fan of Nyx Assassin in the offlane. He's a nice little tank, and he has a great initiation with that ultimate. He'll just hold strong in the offlane until he gets to that level six and tries to make something happen, and we'll see if Union Gaming want to build upon that and go very aggressive with their tri lane and try to zone him out with that. It's like the most annoying hero to play against once you get level 6. You're like, oh, by the way, we have to start buying sentries like crazy. Obviously, in a pro game, you're going to do that anyways to try to counter ward, but Ten half of those sentries are going to have to be placed mid or elsewhere just to make sure you're not getting jumped on with Vendetta, Five whereas some of those remaining. sentries might be used to getting some Dyer wards down, counter warding, what have you. So Nyx Assassin provides that extra little oomph when it hits 6, and he provides not only that kind of ganking, but also initiation and teamfight potential with Impale. I mean, Impales can be game-changing from time to time. So, Osiris, they pick up two strong heroes to start the draft with. Union Gaming, they'll pick up another potentially here, as they already have the Centaur and Visage. A couple of bands came through. Dazzle's not in here. AA as well. So, this, those supports at least aren't going to be available. Remaining. Shadow Demon was played well by Jericho last time if he wants to give it another go here. With the Five Visage, might be an remaining. okay, I guess, uh, potential trial lane coming out with Soul Assumption and Soul Catcher. The two soul abilities. Reserve a lot time. of soul in that lane, but we'll see. One minute and 35 seconds left on the reserve time here for Union to pick up their next hero. Yep, and uh, we'll see where it goes. I'm surprised we haven't seen a tree picked up yet all night long. I feel like he's making really his way back in the middle. 
I I feel like he's been making his way back into the meta. I mean, we saw that he was a big platinum pickup during TI3, banned first pick pretty much every game. That, that was also because his living arm was even better Dumb. back then. But yeah. um, a lot of teams are finding a place for him right now. I mean, I guess we don't know what the game plan quite yet is for Union Gaming. If they want to be a little more prolonging, delaying, and have more defensive supports. I mean, though... Visage can get a lot done early in the game, probably one of the better supports at level one with heavy burst of the Soul Assumption, of course, the sweet, slow, great chill. Mm. Um, we'll see if they want to kind of just have a more defensive thing, like a tree or what have you, or go a little more aggressive. Now, Vengeful Spirit could be that role, but we've also seen a lot of these teams lately run Vengeful Spirit as a core. Yeah, I I don't expect to see Venge Spirit as a core here coming out for Union Gaming. I expect to see that support and with Magic Missile and Soul Assumption. That's a disgusting try lane with whatever hero you you add on to it. So it's going to be tough. And I think that Union Gaming they want to put the pressure on early now. This kind of signifies that it's a bit of an early game strategy here, at least for maybe their try lane, at least secure the farm of whoever's going to be there. The Rubik comes out for Osiris, and that's a very strong support as well. Can steal some nice abilities like you know Soul Assumption, even Nether Swap or Magic Missile would be good to go. Um, but, I don't know. I feel like Venge might be better in this situation. He's good at roaming as well for that Invoker to help out to get some kills, but with the puck now picked up, I don't think there's going to be a way that they're going to be able to grab a kill mid. And Sidoral, he did get shut down early by ZYZZ last time, who did a fantastic job in that last game, but... Sidoral was able to help out in the end of the game, and Yule mm -hmm. Scepter helped out a lot. Dream Coils as well to catch out people out of position. And this is a very strong team with a lot of team fight potential. And uh, I think Osiris kind of have to be nervous about that. We'll see how it goes with the Invoker if they decide to go Quasic Sword or if they decide to go something else here. But we'll see. Yeah, just echoing off you, Five but off, you know what remaining. you said before. Sidoral had a rough laning phrase. Got out CS by Ziz, who clearly is. Very, very great player. You know, he did maintain some pretty good root control, though, for himself, and it worked yeah. out nicely. Yeah. This game, he might not be even fa facing Ziz again. He might be facing Ryu now in the mid lane as the invoker. And Puck is still nice. She should be able to avoid any sort of incoming danger if they try to roam around with the Rubik or if Ryu just tries to go very aggressive with his invoker. And he should still be able to control the runes. Yeah. So I'm not too worried about this one. I think Citadel is going to be just fine where he is. Uh, and I like that pickup. We haven't seen Puck in the mid lane. Oh, we saw him last game. But other than that, lately the flavor of the month has been putting him in the off lane. So yeah. I, I, I love mid lane Pucks because this is a hero that requires a lot of special skills and they can really put on a clinic. Yeah, you have access to the runes, which is always really good for Puck, just to make sure you have that regen and you're able to kind of just roam around and get ganks when there's like no vision on the map or, you know, obviously is really nice. But Disruptor actually nullifies a lot of the issues coming out. Uh, for Osiris Gaming. Static Storm is really good against this team for a number of reasons. Centaur, if he tries to get a stomp off, you can always just send him back. Even if he does, he won't be able to get his double edge off. Um, and with a Stampede as well, I mean, Glimpse is going to be a really useful ability, not to mention Static Storm being super remaining. useful as well. So I like this pickup a lot. Disruptor and Rubik are good in their own right. Rubik with Invoker, and I know Ryu loves to go Quas Exorp. He'll hit a lot of Sun Strikes, and I think that, yes, Union Gaming have this burst damage that's absolutely obscene, but Osiris have kind of a little bit more control. Just only a little bit because of that static storm, I'd say, but it requires level 6. It comes down to who they're going to lane with. Who is the safe lane carry for both of these teams, or I guess the tri lane carry, we'll say, because we don't know if one of them is going to go aggressive or not. As we jump into the last picks here. Someone who can also possibly capitalize on a very nicely placed glimpse would be good too. Uh, Disruptor, Five fantastic hero. I say it every time he pops up. He's like my number two go-to. I think he just can make so many great big plays and he has such fantastic crowd control. Right. And if you even get him to his luxury, luxury items, he scales very, very nicely. But lately a lot of teams only pick him up as a counter to someone like a bat rider. So I'm really curious to see how Osiris Gaming, how they manage to grab him up without any sort of direct counter like that. Just They're just kind of feeling very confident that he'll be able to get the job done in his own right. And I'm also very curious about this fifth and final pickup. Weaver's popping out to me, just because it seems like one of those slower, methodical paced games for him. But I don't know. We'll see. Did you have any thoughts what this core might be, Mott? They could go Morphling again, honestly. I would have said Luna for both sides would have been really strong, but they Ten can't pick it up. It's banned out. Yeah. Um uh, Spectre would have been good as well, but that's also Five banned. Uh, they'll go for the Life Stealer, though, this time around. They'll pick that up, and that's fine, because Radiant Rage is really, really hit. strong against Disruptor. Um, Glimpse, specifically, and... Well, even, like, anything, really, for Osiris Gaming. It's going to be tough to deal with this Life Stealer. And they had to kind of, I think, realize this pick might come out, because that's one of those heroes that 
actually kind of counters them. And yeah, there they go. They're going to pick up the Doom. And so yeah. you're going to pick up a counter to kind of all of the Doom. supports and everybody for Osiris. And then Doom kind of gets picked up and is sort of a counter to a life stealer in his own right, but it's better against somebody like a Puck. So a uh, strong draft for both teams. I don't really have a clear favorite right now. I don't, I'm not sure about you. Um, if, if Osiris can get their game plan going around level six, they could put on a, a really strong show. I really like the Doom Grab. It shuts down a lot of the Union Gaming team and a lot of these squishier heroes too. So I'm leaning towards Osiris in this one, plus just their history of being able to even things up. Yeah. And, you know, I have a little bit of bias towards Ryu Boris, so we'll see, man. But I'm also going to add more pressure on him. If he doesn't – and I've seen him play Invoker before, man. If he slips up, he is going to – Man, he's, he's making it known. He's going Xor level 1. This guy, clearly, Prepare he wants to hit battle. these sun strikes, and I've seen him hit it before. In like big game scenarios as well. So Ryu's got a lot on his shoulders here. Great mid player, obviously. And yeah, I mean, this could be the combo breaker for Osiris. This is a game that if they don't one one, it'll be the first game, the first series they drop O two in the entire ADL. And and keeping even is nothing to scoff at. Although they'd like to have obviously a couple more wins go their way. They're not doing too poorly. So for Osiris Gaming, speaking of Ryu, Ryu Boros Dota, the Invoke player, heading mid on the top lane. Baby J got to be on the offlane Nyx Assassin. Had a rough Shadow Shaman game last time around. We'll see if he can come back and have a really strong Nyx Assassin game. Down bottom for this defensive try lane, it's ZYZZ, surprisingly enough, on the Disruptor. Bunch of Chinese characters on this Doom who I really have no idea. All right, interestingly enough, I don't, whatever. Willis is going to be on the Rubik to round it all out for this defensive try lane. And for your Peruvian team, the Union Gaming starting at the top in the solo safe lane, it's going to be Angel, who had the, previously the Marana play. Did really well, went very defensive, but now back as the Centaur War Runner. Mid lane, it's going to be Cinderella once again. A bit of a run back, if you will. Puck again in the mid lane for him. In the bottom trifecta, we got uh, Nova on the Visage. We got Jericho on the Vengeful Spirit. And of course, Ewo playing your core carry Lifestealer. So that'll round it out. So it's an aggro try lane coming through, and you kind of expected this. It's just too strong. Telekinesis, can he put him up into the high ground? No, he's just going to leave him right there on the staircase. Haste is going to go through Nova. Might have gotten caught out in a bad position here. They're going to throw up the Thunder Strike. They're going to try to body block him as well. Oh, Will he's, he's dead. Oh, the body block's going through. He can't even get up the stairs. Nova going to try to deny himself. Will he get there in time? It looks like, no, there's no there's no camp. He was just going to try to hide, obviously. He doesn't spawn until 30 seconds, so... Even almost getting away, but Willie's with the body blocks on the staircase. The telekinesis nicely played. They jump on him, and already this aggressive try lane. Well, not starting out too strong here. Damn you, Ice Frog! Why did it have to be a dirty haste? When Rubik, very smart, didn't throw him off the cliff, just threw him right back to his team, and they uh, knew that they can quickly take him down with just some simple quick running and auto attacks. Very nice. Get on the board right away, Osiris. Coming out into this one, fast and furious. Yeah, and... Now the Doom will go ahead and he did a creep. It's going to be Thunderclap for himself, who's the Hellbear Smasher. So Doom's got to sit in the jungle, get this camp real quick. He might just stay in the jungle and just kind of have this experience go for both the supports down bottom. But he'll maybe just pick up another camp and then go from there. Maybe he wants another creep. Use his Scorched Earth real quick. And maybe he doesn't want to get contested in this trial lane. I, I understand why. He actually has a Quelling Blade. He also has a Stout Shield as well, which is generally what you go for in a jungling build. And that means Ewo is going to get free farm. The supports are going to get experience, but that's it for their Osiris right now. And... They've, they've got to be wary, though. This is a very destructive try lane that they're going up against. Mm -hmm. Once they kind of get word and get the idea that this Doom is not around, they're going to try to make something happen on these supports. So we'll see. I mean, Ziz put on a great performance as a Storm Spirit. Now he's stepping off and going into the support role. So hopefully he'll not hand anything over too easy here and just try to focus on being very defensive in the meantime. Yeah, they've got to play back. Obviously, if they get aggressed upon, they can just use Glimpse. But against Ewo, that's not going to be really that big of a deal because he'll just rage up. And make sure he avoids that. Top lane, we haven't really spotted this matchup out, but it's a Nyx Assassin going up against a Centaur War Runner right now. If you look at the CS, Centaur is getting it by a mile, I'd say. He's got nine last hits right now. He's doing work on Baby J. And look how much damage he's pumping out just with right clicks in the stomp alone. So, yeah, that, that, that matchup should go to the Centaur War Runner. No surprise there. Invoker mid. Ryu sitting on 8, 9 now. Citadel sitting on 7. So close matchup. No surprise there. But bottom. they take out bottom, man. Yeah. They knew Doom was nowhere around, and they just went in like that. They made it look easy, man. Grave chill, quick disable. There was nothing Disruptor could do to get, it, to get away. Yeah, and there was no even rage there from the life, so they didn't even need it at this point. So that's just a quick kill. That means Disruptor's gone. And the more he gets shut down, 
the worst it's going to be. He needs levels. He needs to get six in Static Storm, and he even needs a couple of items as well. Willies can kind of sit at level three or whatever he's at for a period of time and be fine because he's Rubik. He can help out a little bit later, but as it stands now, Disruptor just needs at least some experience going his way. So they might, they could rotate some heroes top and just kind of like avoid this traveling altogether and let Evo get free farm. But I don't know. We'll see what they want to do. Already though, this Doom backing off. He does have a Wild Wing in him. He's got a Tornado if he wants to use it in like 150 mana, but he's not going to stack. He's just going to fight, it looks like. Devourer. And top lane, Angel is putting in work going against this Nyx Assassin right now. 14 and 7 to Nyx's 4 and 2. Bursted him down earlier, forcing him to use all of his regen. He's just going to town right now in this lane. Yeah, and... I, well, I mean, this matchup just favors him so much more than it does the Nyx Assassin. Nyx can, like, throw up mana burns and stuff like that, and pales and spike carry paces, but it's not going to matter. Angel's inherently tanky, and a Vendetta is going to be the only thing that really brings him down. Like, a full Vendetta combo. Spike Carapace a bit too late there, but at least he stuns him nonetheless, so... Baby J's got to back off, and he's actually almost out of regen. He'll eat another tree real quick, and... He does have high base regen, so he should be okay. Ryu not throwing out any sun strikes just yet. I really, he really can't. He doesn't have any opportunities to do so. The impale though, the Nyx Assassin impale into sun strike combo is very strong. We've seen it before, and it's not that hard to hit. If Baby J has enough mana for an impale here, they could certainly get this kill. But well, we'll see. I don't know. There's a little bit of lockdown there for him. They can definitely make it happen if they can get the timing right away. It's not as sweet of a lockdown as maybe like a Shadow Demon would be right. on the team, but. Right. I mean, it, it's definitely very plausible to happen, and I wouldn't be surprised if they do go for it, but for now, they, they can't afford to go too aggressive. I right. mean, they got the first blood pickoff. It was very convenient for them with the ward and everything happening, but for right now, though, they're losing this laning game. And Ryu's doing fine in the mid lane, but the other two lanes, they're having a bit of a hard time. Yeah, they're, they're kind of just going to have to hope that Ryu is able to carry with maybe his Forged Spirits and even an Ecro Book at some point. A Smoke of Deceit gank is going to come through, and this is going to be a tough kill, though. As Sidorol is very slippery, he's on that puck, obviously, and it's going to be tough to bring him down, especially considering he's got a haste bottled up. There's, It's going to be really hard to get this kill. They might just smoke up and head top and look for a kill there, but they might also wrap around. They haven't drawn anything on the map. They haven't really pinged anything out. They are going to wrap around first and foremost here, and they're going to go for the puck. Telekinesis will probably lead the way. Sidorol, there it goes. Telekinesis is up. There's the Sunstrike as well. No, he put him in the no! wrong position. Oh, no, he's going to jaunt away now. No, he gets glimpsed back with the haste rune, keeping him alive. That's he still world. goes down anyways. Oh, my That's God, if I was real. I am yelling at him right now. You do not move wow. him. You do not move him with Telekinesis, but Ryu still gets the kill nonetheless. Whoo, boy. Going in for a puck already is hard enough. I mean, this yeah. is one of the hardest mid laners to take down to begin with, but if your coordination seems a bit finicky, and obviously Ryu's standing in, so that's expected, but luckily they managed to get it yet. But as you said, just a common rule as a Rubik, if you got something like that, throw him straight up. He gets caught out here with a stun, a bit of a tiff to the bomb lane, lift, exchanges back and forth, oh, strike, walk right oh. into it! Very nice! Throws it out by Ryu, nice timing, but they're making a run back on the Doom. Lightstealer shows up, can Iwu be able to get the enough right clicks in? Very low, there's Sidoral's the joint Sidoral coming in from the right. Does he have the coil? Oh he does. Can God. he get in range to get it? Yep, he gets it on just Ziz, unfortunately, who gets himself snapped there in the bottom. Orb to fly out. They're committing for this one. I wish I could pronounce his name, but regardless, he's dead. Doom is down, and Ewo retreating up to the north right now. But in the lane, oh, the Sunstrike catches! He got him! Very nice! Ryu again picking off the Life Stealer. Now Jericho on the run back. Ziz once more here, just walking and right clicks. I hear cold snaps as well. <laughs> Actually continues both the high and low ground. Cinderall, they're gonna meet up for one last dance of death. Apparently, there goes Vengeful Spirit. Now Cinderall on the run will manage to get away. That got ugly real quick. There's Sun Strike in like five seconds. He needs mana for it though. He's actually got enough. If he wants to throw it on Cinderall, oh, he certainly could try. But he You're might just go it. on Nova instead. Ryu, come on. Show us another one, baby. Nova's gonna back away. He might not have enough for... Uh, is he gonna throw no, it? No oh, oh, oh my god, Ryu! Um, you are unbelievable. Stop. Ryu, game. stop. Oh my god, I caught it. I'm so happy I caught it. Jeez. We were like talking about how we're gonna be hard on this kid, and he is just pulling out the sun strikes already. Listen, That's I can't... three back-to-back -back impressive sun strikes. He's got five kills. I can't be hard on the guy if he's pretty much winning them the game right now with six and two going Osiris's way. Like, that, this is the only reason why they're even close. You mentioned the laning phase going so well in favor of Union. Like, Angel's getting free farm top. He's getting close to his blink already. Down bottom, Ewo had, like, free farm for the longest time. But now he's only sitting on 39 last hits because he chased so much and he died because of it. That was the worst chase for Union Gaming. And a great rotation from just about everybody on the side of Osiris to get a couple kills. So now, 
they've got to get their composure back their way and got to get more farm for Ewa to snowball with. We'll see if it's enough to hold the momentum here and propel himself into the mid game as now everyone's level sixes are beginning to come onto line and we'll see. Things can get ugly again real quick. Ryu's going straight for the Necro book, so I like this pickoff obviously. It adds a lot more pushing potential and he'll be able to scout out anything coming his way mm. very easily. But bottom lane is, is where it, it, it's at apparently for Union Gaming. Trying to make a, a push in attempt, but and they're scouting out the woods. The rest of Osiris already piecing out, heading themselves to their own mid lane. We'll see how it unfolds. Here's the thing. Because this is an aggressive tri lane and they've dove so far, this lifestealer is only sitting at level 5 right now, whereas this dude in the jungle is sitting really pretty much at 6 at this point. The leveling advantage is certainly going in the way of Osiris, but not by much. Now Stampede top the Dream Coil. Willies, you are in a bad position for Rubik, my friend. There is... There's no reason for you to be there. He goes down, and that means that's another kill going the way of Union. Now they're going to Grave Chill on Baby J, but I don't think they'll dive this. He's right under that tower, and TP rotations can come in at any moment. So, Doom now has level 6. He's got his Doom up and ready to go. Invoker, obviously, Sunstrike at the ready, as Ryu's had it pretty much all game. Vendetta's going to fly. TP in from Willy's looking. Uh, okay. That's how Kinesis is not what you really wanted. But here we go. Doom's up in the vengeful spirit. Maybe a bit wasted there. The Vendetta was used as well. The right click, and they grab the kill. So at least they pick it up. The Scorched Earth now chasing after Nova, but that's it. Glimpse back, though. Nova in trouble. Long range. There's the Centaur. Stop the kinetic field. No Sunstrike necessary. And not even Ryu will try to KS that kill. That's only a level two glimpse. It's just so good. Oh, that yeah. skill is so good. What looked like lost opportunity just instantly becomes a quick pick off. It is just such a great skill. Yeah, I. That's only level two. That's that's the range. That's so. The good. Range is ungodly. I think you can glimpse people from other games into yours. That's just how <laughs> crazy the range is. Across servers, even. Yeah. Um... Ziz, yeah, he's made some plays here. He's died once, I believe, I think maybe twice. No, just once, and he's got five assists. So a lot of that helping out, getting them back in this game. Arcanes are actually done for Rubik already. So two Arcanes are up, and they've got some decent farm of the supports, unlike the last game where they were both rather starved for a while. And Ziz is still trying to get something going. He's going to get jumped on. There's the open moves, the magic missile, and Kinetic Field's not going to save your life, my friend. Ziz on the receiving end of a dire gank there, and that's rather unfortunate, but... Spell was stolen, it'll be Grave Chill. Maybe not what Willie's wanted, but still something nonetheless. That's pretty much most of the reason why Lifesteal is a good pickup in this one. Runs right in with the help benefit of Rage. Glimpse is not even going to save you now, my friend, but let's see if he can... Oh, there we go. Going for the quick strike. Misses the stun, unfortunately, on Jericho. Jericho turns back with a stun of his own. The Carapace helps briefly, and the Fade Bolt's more than enough. Sunstrike flies, but not necessary. We're looking to turn back on the Rubik here. Willie's in a bit of trouble. Eats a lot of damage. Rotates back. Ziz now shows up. Who's not level six yet, so oh, no stack storm for him. But now everyone comes. Citarol shows up, drops the coil on one. Ziz caught out. Going to be quickly bursted apart and taken down. But the doom to fly on the puck. Puck now retreating He's up to the north, getting away. Will not matter. Gets doomed and caught out with the impale rather. And now uh, uh -oh. E will make it a run back. Eats a bit of damage. What did he steal? Can't we have that BTS notification thing? Watch. He got the magic missile. It was the last magic ability missile. used. So very nice. Yeah, that that's a good steal. That's that's like one of the abilities that you really want. It does cost a bit of mana. 130 is actually not bad considering his arcanes already. All the while though, Ryu is like he's got his Necro one and he's got level two. And when I say level two, he's got two Forge Spirits going because he's got level four Quas and level four Exhort as well. And uh, he used the Sun Strike there trying to get the kill on the Vengeful Spirit, but she died earlier, so it didn't even matter. But yeah, I mean. The trades really aren't going in favor of Union right now. And y you can see that because Ebo is only sitting on phase and a drum. I mean, not that the Doom's sitting on much more. He's going to get a mech soon, though. The gold is going about 750, almost 1,000 in favor of Osiris. But that can be... That can turn around real quick. And the big thing is also Nova's not even 6 yet. Once it gets his Vendetta, or not Vendetta, Visage Familiars, then we might see some, I think, bigger engagements happen. And a lot more lockdown come out. So, yeah. But same also goes, you know, for the Disruptor, he needs to get his level 6 all right. Static Storm, so we still have a lot more potential to unlock here in this game. The fights are already getting pretty hectic here, so I'm getting really anxious to see how things are going to unfold once everyone gets everything online. Yeah, I, I mean, if this is what the game is like without, like, level 6s for a couple of these heroes, their ultimates, I'm kind of excited to see what's going to happen when they get their ultimates up ready to go, so... And I say that, and I know it's going to be like a farm fest for the next, like, 20 minutes as I say that right now. So, well, we'll see. There is a mech up now for the Doom, and they can start pressuring pretty heavily. But they'll have to fight into Centaur Ultimate, Visage, what have you. 
Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yep. They're looking to contend this mid. I don't know if they're trying to bait out Angel here, but nope, they're looking to push out the lane instead. Both teams pretty congested here trying to make something happen while uh, the cores farming out on the side. Ryu has been apart and away from his team, just finding his own reliable farm. Building, building a bit of core himself. Got the Necro, obviously. Right. Already online, level one, but just kind of more adamant here on playing the side lane game. And this gives more experience to ZYZZ and Willies. One of them was getting solo experience for a bit now, but they'll share it here and Willie should actually just back off and give Zibs the solo experience as he needs to get level 6. He needs to make that known. I think he's one of the few that's at level 5 right now. He's tied with the other two supports for Union Gaming. Vendetta's now up for the next assassin. They'll try to scout somebody out here in the jungle. They're not going to find anybody unless they find Ewo in lane, who's going for an SMY, it looks like. And now some rotations from Union Gaming to mid, but this aggression is not continuing further. Just everybody kind of backing off and playing passively for a bit now, it seems like. Oh, nice. Yep, takes the orb. Yeah. This is a nice little initiative tool here for Rubik. If they oh, yeah. want to try to make something happen. Already a ping to the mid lane as they see the familiars are now online and starting to scout things out. But just very a lot of patience from both teams being content in this mid. There goes a little bit of a defensive ward coming up for the radiant side. But there goes the orb. Just a bit of a footsie here, but nothing committing just yet. Doom showed up, obviously, with his ultimate online. And I don't know. We'll just see which team wants to pull the trigger first. The thing right now that's actually kind of interesting is that Union have, like, very little vision. This ward that's here on the river about to run out. Yeah, th this this map is dark for them. There's a lot of defensive wards coming out from Osiris, but they have wards at, at least. Like, that's that's what you could say. So they won't really see a gank coming. Um, everyone's kind of rotating bottom for Union right now. They don't really know what to do. Evo's farming top, and he doesn't seem to know that there's a gank train heading his direction. The Blake Dagger is purchased up. Ryu sitting in the trees. Stay in the trees. Stay in the trees. No, he's jumping out of the trees. They see the Doom, and now Ewa will back off. But now they can make some pressure here, perhaps in this Tier 1 tower. Rotations coming through. The Visage Familiars have arrived. They're ready to defend. Willie's going to throw up that ward, but look at that immediate Sentry Ward coming out wow. from Nova. That's 50 gold. That's, well, that's the quickest counter I've seen, like, ever. Yeah. That's unfortunate. That's like, just like, yeah, we're going to get some vision behind the tower. They'll never counter ward this. Oh, but they did. Vendetta, Baby J, looking for Nova, Telekinesis into the Vendetta, into the Impale. He's getting greedy. They sent our ults used, but here we go. Doom is up. Evo trying to fight. Jaunts away from Willis as he uses that steal. There's the Sunstrike off the mark this time around. Stomp getting canceled. Now it's going to go. Dream Coil is up. Angel looking for more. Sidorol and Angel both low. Dream Coil keeping him in place, but for how long? Nobody dead for Osiris yet. They're still alive. The mech doing the job there, keeping everybody up. The Infest out is going to kill Willis. It looks like no. He survives just barely. There's the Rage. Now chasing too far. Doom potentially. Ryu's like, uh, you gotta get out, man. Spike Carapace goes. Sidorol trying to juke the Impale coming through. Looks like he wants to keep using it. There it goes, finally. Sidorol, he's resigned himself to death, but he will get the double before he goes down. And a nice play. They get that tier one tower, but Ryu falling in the end as well. I don't know what happened to that fight. That was crazy. No, that was very wishy-washy from both sides, but Ryu did fall. He ended over the bounty gold too. The uh, Puck, but Puck ended up falling also in the end, so... Definitely an intriguing tiff back and forth. But the carry did live. Lifestealer is still alive from Union Gaming. He's happy to be able to make it out alive. But they lose a tower. So it's hard to say what, who really ended up coming out on top on that one. Well, according to the graphs, it looks like Osiris kind of lengthened their lead just because of that tower gold. And even they got experience to a certain extent as well. So the fight, it looks like, definitely went Osiris's way. And, and that's kind of how it seemed in the engagement. And Puck going down. Yes, he got a double kill. But, I mean... And yes, Evo did survive as well, so I guess it's a little bit more even than I'm making it out to be, but still. Ryu, had he survived that, probably definitely goes their way, but he does go down. Looks like Puck getting those kills was really, really important, but he's got his Necro 3 now, and with Necro 3 and Forge and, and Alacrity, which is now available as well, it's a lot to deal with, and it seems like Union know that he's here and he's ready to push, so they'll make their way and try to defend this tower. Jericho is the last one to be a part of the level 6 club here. Still no swap available on Vengeful Spirit. Just needs one more little creep before he can finally have that swap available. Will he be able to take advantage of it? I don't know. I'm always questionable about Vengeful Spirit's supports. I mean, the swap is a great skill, don't get me wrong, but the range is pitiful. Yeah. So we'll see if she can make something happen here. As Osiris Gaming looking to push up. They're going over the hill. Let's see if he links up more Forge Spirits. He does. They're ready to make a push happen. Clearing out the wave quickly with the help of the orb that was stolen. Let's we'll see what they can do. If they land a nice coil, Sidorol can uh, take this back to him. 
They gotta take this tower soon, because Evo's just gonna farm top while they're all doing this, and they'll try to pull the creep wave, but here goes the necros, and, and now this tower's gonna fall. There's nothing they can do about it. They'll back off now, they'll fortify, but unless Evo TP's in, this this probably is gonna go the way of the Radiant. Osiris are gonna take this tower, it looks like, and they can TP top as well if Evo's gonna try to pressure this tier 1 here as well, which is actually kind of low. Yeah, there they go. TP now coming in from Willy's here. He's gonna pull the creep wave back, and just like that, they take another tower going their way to defend top tower as well, and... Well, it seems as if Osiris kind of have this going their way. With Doom, it kind of throws a monkey wrench into the plans of Union Gaming. And you talked about Vengeful Spirit as well, and I agree with you 100%. Not only was she just level 5 and just finally got level 6, but this, like, hero needs level 11. Almost more so than most supports, so... Nether Swap is going to be kind of useless. Mm, not useless, but it's going to be tough to get in a good position that she could capitalize with, so... Yeah, I mean, maybe if you do, like, the greatest sacrifice and swap out, like, your core in a hairy situation to try to save them and you sacrifice yourself, but anytime she swaps into something, she's going to be dead. She's yeah. dead. So, it's, it's got to be picky and choosy about the right time to make a fight happen. That's for sure. Yeah, and they do want to push the pace of the game, and they're going to smoke top, and they feel like Evo's going to get ganked, but there's no tier 1 tower here, and... Kind of, I guess, Osiris's mantra right now is, let's just take towers. Tower so, this means that at this point, they're going to go for this last tier 1 top. They'll try to trade for it. Ryu's here, but he's like, okay, they're all top. We can't really defend this anymore, so you better take bottom. Uh, no fortification for our union right now. So, even if they take this tower, and they could still TP and defend, but looks like they want to go for a tier 2 instead. Yeah, mm, they'll be able to get it quickly. They have some decent pushing power with the help of the familiars. Right. Tier 1 falls. Here comes some rotations now. Looks like Osiris want to defend. Now, how are they going to make it happen? Doom goes in. There goes the Centaur War Call. No commitments from either team just yet, but they are trying to make a go on Angel here. He's trying to soak it all up. They're committing the Stack Storm and everything. There's the glimpse to take him all the way back. Doom now moving forward. A few more right clicks would take him down, but in the meantime, Lifestealer, the precious core, has been taken down. Nyx Assassin looking to run forward, decides to pull back Visage on the run, and uh, this Necrobook's going to be doing work. Nice blink and pale. He's done. Double kill coming out for Ryobor is very nice. Osiris Gaming defend very well and take a very precious pickoffs. I'm not quite sure why they dove behind that tower, but that was... I think they wanted the kill on Zis. They got it, yes, but... Uh, the glimpse came through and I was actually anticipating the Lifestealer getting sent back to here, but apparently he raged up and I didn't notice, so he just kind of stayed there and they killed him. So, that was not an issue whatsoever to bring him down, and then of course the blink and pale to finish everything off, coming out for Osiris and Baby J, making some plays that he didn't quite make in that first game, where he had a rough time on the Shadow Shaman. So, Ryu getting a double kill is certainly not what you want, because this guy is essentially your carry at this point. He can even go treads if he wants you to get a bit more right click. That That's actually a thing that people do now. He's gonna pick up the ultimate orb, and that probably indicates the side of the buys could be another item uh it depends really on what he wants but it's most likely a scythe but at this point they've got a lead and a big one at that Five thousand at 20 minutes is like i keep saying a lot not insurmountable but it's certainly very strong experience wise four thousand also very good and for union this life stealer he's farmed but it's really not doing much no. they're going on angel oh bottom lane doom out yep tornado the whole kit and caboodle coming out from invoker plus ford spirits see you later i don't care how big and bad you are Centaur gets taken down immediately. Yeah, and they're going to grab another kill mid. Actually, Nyx Assassin combining up with Willis to grab the Vengeful Spirit. But Ewell looking to try to get something on the back end of this. Willis going to TP away. No way to stop him from getting out of there. No Basher. Visage Familiars didn't have Sonar Warden position or both. Sidoral blinks and uses that silence, but not able to find anybody. They'll all back off right now. And Osiris are ever so close to, again, drawing even in a two-game series. BKB now acquired on the Doom. Another defensive item. Not going to uh, utility style. Oh, jump in. Stun. Catching on the Visage. Nova might be in a bit of trouble. Brief glimpse back. Nope. Doesn't catch him with the kinetic field. Life Slayer trying to go to town and will take down the Nyx Assassin. They do dodge the Sunstrike this time around. And now they're looking to go back right into Osiris Gaming. There goes the lift, however, on Evo. Evo pulled back with the help of the Centaur Charge. The Coil will catch on Willies. They're taking down the... They got the Rubik. Very nice. Ewo moves on. Double kill. Still hungry. Running right on yes. through. No more men on the Doom. Desperation BKB as he tries to get away and will. And now they look to retreat back. But a nice two pick off. They feel the bump of Ziz nearby, I think. Look at that. Random stun. There's the glimpse. Kinetic field. Static Storm oh, wow. as well on three. Very nice. Sunstrike oh. to follow. Angel very low. Able to get away with the help of his magic wand, however. Ziz goes up to the high ground. Oh, no. Ryu Boars, though, caught out. Bursted down from Lifestealer and Cinderol. Fantastic job here for Union Gaming. Taking multiple kills and now looking to take a tower. But who's this coming in? That's Doom back. 
from his oh, previous engagement. They want to take Iwu. Very nice stun from Angel, but Angel will have to hand himself over with the help of the Thunder Strike. Swap move from uh, Vengeful Spirit, saving the Life Stealer, who's doomed up, should be fine as he makes his run, but Jericho will hand himself over. So now in the end, I don't know. Might be squared up even once more. Yeah, that, that was really good engagement from Union Gaming. And Ryu missed that Sun Strike in the mid lane near that Tier 2 tower for the Dire team. Uh, Ryu, you got to hit those, buddy. But and nonetheless, he hits a nice Sun Strike on Angel. Doesn't grab a kill, and he goes down by sitting a little too close up and obviously gets picked off. But the Doom, if you're going to Doom that Life Stealer, you have to know that, yes, it does mute your items, but I'm pretty sure you still gain that passive move speed from your Sanjin Yashi. You can't use your phase, but you're still pretty fast anyways, and he might have already popped the drum charge as well. They couldn't bring him down, and like you said, the swap to save his life on top of all of that. So, oh, blank Dream Coil. Illusion Orb Will is getting blown up. Silence as well. Sun Strike flying through. Is it going to hit? Just barely on Sidwell. Not enough. They bring down two immediately, including the Nyx Assassin. Ewo, look at how fast this guy is. He pops the drums. BKB again, just to get away. And now Osiris, they're the ones in the back foot. They've got to back away. All of a sudden, Union Gaming, when they hit that drum and they hit that SNY coming up for Ewo, they're like, all right, let's 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 do this now. Let's go to work. They're showing where real damage comes from. I mean, an Invoker Core is great and all, but Lifestealer, man, he knows what's happening. And especially with the benefit of his rage, he's going to be able to put in some serious work, and there's only going to be so much lockdown that can stop him. So... I don't know, man. Union Gaming, if they manage to win a couple of fights, they're going to be able to run ahead, and it's going to be very hard for Osiris to come back into this one because Doom is already just going clear-cut defensive with help of his BKB, which he's already used twice, and Brave Boar is, still needs to get his sheep stick, but man, I don't know. Union Gaming, I think, are slowly starting to secure a better late game for themselves. Yeah, I agree with you, and this Doom late is going to be nice, but this Life Stealer is kind of going uncontested in terms of the carry department. I don't really know if there's anyone that can match up against him one-on-one -on -one and can really survive it on Slot of Evo. He has Basher now as well, which is some decent farm. If he gets in Abyssal, that's going to be even worse. Ziz is kind of under farm, but he's got a 4 staff, which is nice. You look at Willy's as well. Willy's had a lot of farm early on, but he's getting picked off a lot too. But still, they're, they're richer than the supports on the Dire team, and that's saying something, I guess, but... As it stands now, they're just not taking the fights. So Cyrus need to take fights that are going in their favor. But it seems like every time there's a five-man engagement, it goes the way of Union. A lot of that's because of the Infest out. And Union are going to try to do it again. Sidoral, there's the Centaur ult. And they're going to try to use that BKB on Doom. He'll Doom up Ewo right now. But already the damage is done. Willis gets mecked up the Impale. Sidoral falling low. The Static Storm. Angel and him are going to fall next. Two down already. The Vistage Familiar is doing work. The Glimpse back on Ewo. The four step further. They want this kill. Can they get it? He's being bought down very slowly. The Impale just barely connects. Ewo is done. Jericho is next as well. They're focusing him down. Cold Snap or whatever might be up in a couple seconds. They won't need it. The last hit from Ryu confirms the kill. Now Nova getting caught out. It's a team wipe. Ultra kill for Ryu Borus. The super stand and playing for Osiris Gaming. Man, my jaw is dropped right now. You can't see it, but that was a fantastic counter initiate coming up for Osiris Gaming. I was watching the Rubik, man. He quickly took back the Centaur Global, used it, and managed to throw the enemy back into the stack storm. Ziz yeah, did a great yeah, job yeah. with the Disruptor throwing down a very good crowd control and just... It worked in their favor so nicely, and next thing you know, Union Gaming just dwindling all apart. Wow, tremendous job from Osiris Gaming. The, the, the damage is ridiculous from Ryu. With all of his familiars, including his um, Necro units and his Forge Spirits, if he alacrities just one of them, and then he just goes to town using his right click and, well, whatever spells he has at his disposal, you see what he can do, getting four kills there. I'm not sure even really what abilities he used, but... A lot of it was just right click, I think, first and foremost. And that mech, that mech from the Doom keeping everybody alive was ridiculous. There's no reason Willie should have stayed alive that entire team fight. He did go down at the very end, but that's, that's, you'll take that trade any day of the week for that Rubik. So there's that site that we talked about at 26 minutes in for Invoker. And by the way, this is Ryu without a Midas. You see so often Midas yeah. is up on the Invoker, and he's level 17, so he's going to be invoking some spells and hexing some people up. Yeah, I was going to mention about that earlier, too. I mean, normally when you're going with the Invoker who wants to go more core dependent or just try to, like, be one of those significant forces in the late game, you want to go for something like a Midas. But he didn't. I mean, he's got a lot of farm, though. No doubt about that. Right. So plenty to work with. Sheepstick and full Necro book has extra pushing power. Throw it together with the Forge Spirits, and he can take control of a lane by himself. And that's what he's been doing for the majority part of this game and making it happen. But yeah. Union Gaming still well into this one have a lot of crowd control to work with puck's been doing great fantastic coils to work with that they get the proper follow-up you know as far as 
the other supports though, Visage and uh, Vengeful Spirit, it's been a bit questionable for them as far as what they can bring to the table without just simply feeding themselves over. But we'll see. I mean, I feel like there's going to be a lot of pressure on this Life Stealer. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, this Life Stealer has got to perform, and he's done well thus far. He's got seven, three, and six, and we've seen Life Stealers go pretty much deathless. But this game, he's got two deaths or three deaths to his name right now. He's got an Ultimate Orb as well. Um, that's an interesting item choice. Um, hold on a second here. So he's got, it's either Manta, I mean, Manta, Lincolns, or Scotty. It's not going to be a Scythe. Uh, I expect it to be maybe a Lincolns just to deal with Glimpse and Doom, I think is probably the most likely option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, which it's got to be that. Strange, I'd say, but, uh. Well, you can't get a BKB. I mean, yeah. It'd be pretty much pointless. Wow. And I mean, I guess if he has a track record of just eating dooms in every fight, and it's just like, okay, it's time. I'll go for the Lincoln Sphere. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, there's no one else on his team that could get a Lincoln Sphere for him. So I guess he's just like taking it upon himself. The puck could have gone Lincoln's. Instead, he went Necro too, though. So if he tried to go for Lincoln's now, it'd be a bit late. And I think Sidorall is just kind of like, well, all right, uh, okay. Dyer's but uh, as it stands now, there if you look at the gold graph, there's that like little dip, and we were kind of questioning, like, hey, Osiris, what are you doing? Are you, are you winning this game? And then, they're like, listen, guys, we got this. This is our game to lose. So, they're sitting pretty right now, but another Necro 3 purchased up. That's for the puck, like I mentioned, to try to counteract that one on the Invoker. So, they'll try to pressure mid, and there's been a lot of action, but towers are still standing all over the place, and Roshan has yet to be taken this game, I believe. Yeah, so funny you said that. I was just going to say the same thing, man. Roshan still stands. No team either going for it. You know, Dire, you'd figure with their advantage of being on the Dire side, can just kind of sneak in and get it done. But they are very unaware of Osiris Gaming's movement, where they're going to be on the map. Their map vision is subpar at best, so they can't really see what's happening. It's more defensive, so they can't risk doing anything like that. Well, Osiris Gaming, I mean, the Courier is down. Where did that courier die? Oh my lord, that forge spirit. What? Oh, Are dirty. you serious? There's no way he knew that was coming. Ryu just got freaking lucky. I'm calling him out on that. There's no way he got that. That's... I don't know, man. Ugh. That's Very that's nice. like the worst thing for Union. I don't think it had anything on it. Uh, It did. Mm, not. Nope. Nope, they're making a jump in mid lane, though. They want Willie's jumping with the coil meteor, but nice disruption. Static Storm dropped. It's going to blow him up. Ryu Boris moves on to a main kill streak. Very low Willie's gets earned up, trying to make a run for it, and a blink back coming, but does not matter. Infest, he's making a run back, but nice glimpse to bring him into the fight, but they're not even going to focus him down just yet. Everyone else, though, cleaned up. Ewo, the only one to survive. Look at the power as Osiris Gaming take control now in this mid game, looking to push forward potentially and take a tier two with the help of this Necro Book. Yeah, and that's just really outstanding positioning. And again, the Static Storm just doing so much work. This disruptor has been on point. Maybe, and we talked about how much he did just by glimpsing people before he hit six and how exciting this game would be once he got that Static Storm. And I mean, it's been just every single time there's been a Static Storm opportunity, he's gotten at least two, if not three, in it. They don't pick. They're not too worried about that. This gives them a free opportunity to roast with the Forge Spirits, with the Alacrity. This is going to go down rather quick. And something that UG could have done a while ago because they had that Vistage Medallion up and they just didn't really take it. So all of a sudden now, I mean, you're dealing with Ryu who's very farmed. He has that Blink Dagger like we saw. Wave of Terror is going to go through. This is going to be killed, but they're a little too late already. He was going to jump with a double damage rune right now. Jump in, the stomp hits up, Doom maybe caught out of position, in trouble right now, he's gonna have to mech, he's BKB as well, Ewo's gonna get doomed up, he's in some trouble, he raged off the double damage rune as well, that is problematic at best, boom, he's gonna go down, Angel getting caught out of position, there's the static storm, Glimpse I think on cooldown, he has mana to use, but still on CD now, Angel stomp is up, nice fight, Carapace, and they grab the kill on Jericho with the level death, Angel hexed up, he's down, Dream Coil, Ewo bought back, but there's the Aegis going through for Ryu, he's got his Necro units up, both Necro units fighting to the death. Solo assumption, not enough. Finally, the Doom goes down. Here we go. Rubik comes in, steals Grave Chill. Not what he wanted. He wanted Solo assumption, but still. Evo trying to chase him down. Rages up in two seconds. Ryu's got to get out of there. Nice and pale, saving his life. Gets forced to have to wait. Now the Ghost Walk, but they still have that Necro 3. He'll blink away. Ryu's still living. We still living with Ryu Boris right now. Spike Carapace, they have to use the buyback. They get a kill or two with it, but a fight going again for Osiris. Radiance wow. Top tower Just everything they want, they're getting it done. Very impressive.
Ray War is doing serious work with the Invoker, man. I was kind of hoping to hate him on this one, but he's he's definitely putting it on a show right now, and it's looking very nice. 14, 2, and 11. So, can't hate on that. Leading his front for a net worth 18K. Then behind him is his fellow Doom at 14K, and then finally the Lifestealer at about 13K. So, Lifestealer has a lot on his plate to work with here, and now sacrificing a little bit of uh, gold to try to get anything going. Oh, my lord. Ziz has an Agadim Scepter. This is where oh, it's going to wow. get... Uh, I heard you like Dooms. Yeah, it, it's going to get a bit dicey here. There's a lot of mutes. A lot of mutes, ladies and gentlemen. Not not just silencers. It's Mute City. That's a Smash reference, if there's anyone. Yeah, never mind. Actually, more of a, I guess, uh, F-Zero reference. But whatever. Enough about other games. This is Dota. We're still in it here, 33 minutes in. and Well, it, it seems to be well in favor of Osiris at 15k. And we'll both experience and gold. And once again, Osiris, they're the kings of making sure every series goes one and one, but it's looking like the same thing again for them this time around. Definitely admit to me. Definitely have to be pretty thankful for Ray Porus, though, because in the early laying phase, man, he was the only one to hold his own, and then when he went on to a serious Sunstrike binge in that mid-game, getting all sorts of pickoffs, getting the momentum in his team's favor, and ever since then, they've managed to build up a lot of farm for themselves, and Union Gaming and their supports have been very lackluster in their farming department. I mean, I haven't really seen anything that this Vengeful Spirit has offered that's been crazy and wow and very significant for the team, except right. in a casual wave of terror to help, you know, reduce the armor, but you can see by her farm, it's just it's not good. Oh, Sunstrike to go out. No, it's on Nova. I thought it might yep. have been on Jericho, but nope. Nova getting caught out. Nice vicious stuns, but that's only going to keep him alive for so long. Can they grab these familiars? These things have been bugging them the entire game. Uh, they're going to chase down one potentially. No, it gets away. Blink forward. Force up to the high ground. Man, they're putting a lot of effort for these, but they get one at the very least, so that's down. Got to you know, pay the bills, baby. Yeah, and that's actually down for 120 seconds, so there's only one right now, and that's actually kind of a big deal because those are so annoying to deal with in a fight, but... Um, yeah, you talked about the Vengeful Spirit, and I agree with you. You could have gone another support just as easily and had a better time, like a Shadow Demon, for example. Like, really anything else. Just this Venge hasn't done much. He's had maybe one decent swap to save the Lifestealer, and that's it. Magic Missile's not done much early on. It, it grabbed maybe a couple kills, but it just seems like right now she's not really doing all that much. Whereas Visage is pretty much Dyer's keeping them attack. kind of in this with her, attack. with his, excuse me, stuns, with the, obviously Grave Jill and Soul Assumption, but that's not going to save this Tier 3 Tower. Fortification not available. Looks like they won't go. Telekinesis went. The Impale just missing on Angel on the outside of the base. Is they're skirting around fighting here, but Devour going in the Necro Archer. Oh, boy. That's that's a lot of gold going for a Doom rather easily. And uh, Tier 3 getting low. There is that fort like we talked about. We'll see if Osiris want to try to break the base here. It's not going to be too hard for him. Forge Spirits, Necro Books when it is up, and what have you, man. They're just throwing bodies into the base, trying to get it done. A few more right clicks, and... Oh. That's it. Ray Boris takes down the tier three tower. Ba the barracks now exposed. When's the right time to try to take a fight? When can Union Gaming try to make something happen? Citeral's got a lot of pressure on if he can land a very nice coil here and try to get the ball rolling, but nope. It looks like Nova might be caught out. A brief stun. Kinetic Field will hold him temporarily, but they can't quite commit just yet. Fade bolt, man, Ryu pulls the trigger. Oh, a meet wow. the ball. The falls from the sky and the rips apart to the visage very quickly. Now Ewo eating a lot of damage in the Doom. He's done for. This is it. Ryu Boris, double kill. Sunstrike not on the mark. Doesn't matter. Jump in. Sitter, I'll see you later. North America is going to be taking this game number two here, and they will once again even things up as they look to step back and clean up these racks. You just got an item, by the way, in case you were wondering. Oh, it's all great. Yeah, I, I, everything's great for Kyle Guy right now. Sidoral bought back. Looks like he wants to keep going. Gets tornadoed. Blink phase shift gonna go. It looks like he'll survive. Nope, just kidding. That's a cold snap. Ryu gets another kill. Still beyond godlike. And yeah, this this game is now looking to be over here. As they're all dead. Union Gaming. They tried their best, but Nova getting caught out. He's sitting in front of the racks rather than behind. Not a good position for him. Gets caught out. Telkinis is brought back, then gets impaled, and well, he's dead. So Union Gaming on the back of some of the strongest invoker play I've seen out of Ryu Boris has just been absolutely fantastic. They'll take two sets of racks and there's the GG coming through. Osiris take another series 1-1. One, one. They will never drop it 0-2, I feel like, or even get 2-0 for that matter. It seems like that'll be the streak that they've got to break, but a good game for them. 41-17 to the final score as well. It's not the same not the same team, obviously, with Ryu Boris on it as they come around in game number two and just go to work. So 
Very, very nice for Osiris Gaming to even things up. Union Gaming, you know, they've been struggling through ADL, so they did manage to get one victory under their belt, but they're going to have to still try to dig deep and try to outperform in these next few series coming up for the ADL if they want to be able to have a good playoff spot. But regardless, man, big shout-out and props. Thanks for the Chen bracelet sponsored by Na'Vi. <laughs> Nice, excellent, excellent. And what was that for exactly? Does it say there? It should be like inscribed or heroic. Or I know. Something. I'm waiting to see if it loads up. Oh, here it is. Okay, a Ryu Boris of Osiris Gaming achieves a godlike streak. Nice, Ryu nice. Boris. I'll give it to you for five bucks. Oh, shout outs to Ryu Boris. Guys, that's going to be it for us tonight. Thank you so much for watching. You can check everything out, including the schedule, the standings, over at AmericanDotaLeague.com. Follow them on Twitter, at AmericanDota. And big shout out to the sponsor, SteelSeries, which you can check out at SteelSeries.com. I'm wearing their headset right now, which is ultra comfortable. And it, it uh, honestly just sounds great. You got that Dolby surround sound as well. If you'd like the tickets, watching game and get a chance at those tickets, or excuse me, not the tickets, but the items rather that Cuddle Guy just received, it's $3.99 in the Dota store. Definitely worth the purchase as well. Really great stuff there. Uh, let's see, let's see. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, um, we got a lot of stuff coming your way for high ground. Yeah, if you want to check out some information on the Summit qualifier, I guess you could say pre-qualifier for the North American qualifiers or American qualifiers, you can check that out at highground.tv. That'll be this Sunday. It's open to any team willing to compete. And, of course, that slot will lead to the qualifiers to play up against teams like EG, Liquid, um, E-Hug, um, Revenge, I believe, as well. So a couple of other teams as well that I'm missing, I'm sure. Um, also, the Dota 2 Canada Cup is going to be broadcast by High Ground TV, which is, of course, myself, Cottle Guy, and What is Hip. What else? Also, tomorrow morning, and, and this is for everyone who's a, a bit of an early riser, I guess, from the American scene, and I guess some of you Europeans as well as those of you in Asia. I'll be back, not here, but over at twitch.tv slash highgroundtv to cast talent versus either newbie, Vici Gaming, or Invictus Gaming, and a Chinese best of three for the WW Professional League, which will be a lot of fun to cast. I think Pimp will be joining me for that as well. Um... Once again, thanks for joining us, guys. My name is Mont. You can follow me at twitter.com slash montdota2. With me is Coddle Guy. You can follow at twitter.com slash Coddle Guy. And Coddle, before we head out of here, any final words? No, not really. I mean, you pretty much got everything covered. Just excited. Please make sure you guys support everyone and support the scene if you're available. I mean, even just opening up your stream and leaving it running and supporting everything. I'm, you know, Mott's obviously committing a lot to having to get up so early to cast some amazing Chinese Dota. So definitely show your support and show your love for that. Yeah, please do, guys. And you can do that by following us over at twitch.tv slash highgroundtv. And uh, obviously, I'm looking really, really forward to, of course, casting that series tomorrow. But um, also, one more thing, I think. Yeah, I think you won't be joining tomorrow. I think it's going to be the Greg tomorrow. Wait. What? what? I'm sorry? You're going to be with Greg tomorrow? Yes. Okay. I was making sure. I, I remember. I have real life plans. Whoa, I gotta raise okay. my I got to raise my real life MMR a little bit. You listen, know? listen. You're okay. Understandable. I, I got gotcha. you. So, yeah, I'll be with Greg tomorrow. We've got some great series there. And before we head out of here, uh, I know it's on the AFK screen, and I'll throw that up in just a second. In fact, right now. But you can check out the matchups right there, which are off the top of my head. I believe it starts out with Sneaky Nick's Assassin versus no earth spirit or ban earth spirit so that'll be an all north american affair sneaky nix assassin looking to continue their unbeaten streak in the adl group b with of course axe mike and fluff joining the team and then after that an all south american affair with cnb esports versus isurus gaming two teams that have been sort of underperforming looking to get back on top with of course that starting at about 6 p.m pdt which is about i'd say nine uh if i'm doing my math correctly edt so wait here, wait, so four, seven, yep, yeah, okay, so seven o'clock EDT for Snob versus New Earth Spirit, and then nine o'clock EDT for CNB and Isubers Gaming. And that'll be it for us here today, guys. It's been a pleasure casting for you. Uh, go ahead and follow the stream, but other than that, take it all easy, guys. See you later.